animals' human names. Well, actually, <laughs> we talked about how Evan abandoned an adopted child because somebody gave him a little pushback, so he what? abandoned him. Whoa. No. It was a cat, not a child. Okay. Yeah. I want to preface this by saying... With the name like Frank, it's, it's an yeah. adult cat, it sounds like. If it were up to me... I wouldn't have done anything with the cat. I would have just shoot it off like, and called it a day. Fuck that cat. I'm not <laughs> in this. I, I do, I do. <laughs> Evan's like, I, I don't care whether it stays or goes. This isn't my business. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying out of it. Fuck that cat. Fuck that no. cat. What? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Episode four zero of Squad Pod. It's been a while. It feels good. It feels good to be talking to you guys at 1030 at night. (laughs) I miss it. It's good to be back, man. Yeah. Um, But yeah, thanks for hanging in. Um, If you guys have been paying attention to the Facebook page and all that stuff, we haven't really missed a beat. Just Squad Pod hasn't been back, but everything else has been been going great. Obviously, yeah. um, we're all under a new name. We finally got that taken care of. So we are now under Waves 5 Media, and it does look which, pretty nice. <laughs> which I, I, love. I love the name. I love the logo. I love the look. Like, it feels it's much fish. more legit. It does. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, I, I sent you guys that picture today just scrolling through YouTube on TV. I saw it, and I'm like, man, that looks <laughs> that looks so good. We're it looks legit. Fish. Yeah, <laughs> looks legit. It's legitness. It's just, I just loved, I just hated the idea of wanting to create something new and it being tied to the name of a podcast. So it just makes sense to have it more broad. So that way, you know, the podcast is still the same sports podcast is still the same. So, um, but yeah, I'm even going to, it's not going to be on this channel, but I'm going to tie back, tap that Mm -hmm. squat, like the waves five, like it's going to be our conglomerate. Conglomerate. Yeah. (laughs) Our conglomerate. Watch out Disney. Actually like squat pod sports is caught up to this podcast. Now we're both on episode 40 now, which is pretty cool. It's great. 40 (laughs) 40 straight weeks for squat pod. Okay. No no break. (laughs) (laughs) Can't take no breaks. There's news to talk about. News every week. They're always y'all. Y'all haven't hit the law, man. There is a sports law for like, we find something to talk about because we go into weeks where we're like, I even well, I don't know about why, but I go into weeks where I'm like, man, there hasn't been much. And then I'm like reviewing and I'm like, oh my God, there's so and then next you know the shit's an hour long, and we're like, you know what? So it's <laughs> we got there this is, shit down. There is I a law was, though between every sports where it, like and you guys will figure out, I'm sure, but like there's a law between every sports fan where like NBA season's ending. Baseball season's kind of in the middle, so it's like, yeah, all right, baseball. And like, yeah, hockey soccer and baseball. Like, yeah, like, so you're just like, uh, like, they're you not really much doing time. because we haven't experienced that yet. We haven't experienced that part of the year yet. Okay. This is our second NBA postseason on some weird shit. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't know, even been a year, and it's your it second hasn't, postseason. It hasn't been a year. This is our second NBA postseason, our second NHL postseason. We already did. We didn't do the Super Bowl and shit like that. You know, we did the beginning of the season. So, like, we did yeah. the, the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But we didn't start. But anyway, we this did hit weird. that weird summer, like, wall, like you're talking about. But yeah. I figured we could just, like, think of a bunch of <laughs> wild shit. You know oh, what sure. I mean? Like, it's Come not going to be. lists and all that exactly. type of shit. And, like, if we, if that's when we can really get creative. Yeah, put we'll yeah. me on that shit. I'll be on exactly. that shit. Exactly. <laughs> that's Because we're going to need content to talk that's, about. That's when I flourish, man. You want to talk about some ridiculous shit, let's get into it. That's what I mean. <laughs> we're going to have, like, shows where we'll have, like, three straight, like, topics <laughs> and debate that shit. You know, we'll have, like, a little topic. bit of juice to talk about first, and then the rest is just whatever. It's going to be, yeah. Yeah. The bias It's football. just going to become <laughs> this, but... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sports star. <laughs> it's just some random... But yeah, but I mean, the other big thing that we've had, I mean, this looks a little bit crisper. I don't know if anyone will really notice it, but um, I just... You've been putting that work in, Evan. It's just been fun. (laughs) Packer man over here. The big thing has been, though, um, we actually just yesterday, so for anyone watching this, it will be two days ago, we released the first episode of Cinema Trip Reviews. Um, yes. which is the first installment of Wyatt's little project um, with his reviews. Um, that was Godzilla versus Kong review. 
Um, the next one is Mortal Kombat. So no, be Justice Zack League. Snyder's Justice oh, okay. League. Okay. We haven't seen it as of right now, but okay. that's the next one that's coming out. Okay. Um, so I thought, is it Mortal Kombat filmed already? Yeah, it but, is, but so at the end of Kong and Godzilla, I tease Justice League is the next one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. You got to learn to let that shit go sometimes in filming process, man. <laughs> I've learned that already. And there, there are episodes of Tap That that I have filmed and talked about in other films that I've never released. That I, like we just didn't like. That I'm just, just like those aren't getting released. But it's fuck not it, coming it, out. it's not coming out. Like not I just am out. not doing it. <laughs> just it wasn't up to par. It's so it's getting didn't. done. That's that's both of those are going to be coming out. And then me and Evan are working on, of course. We haven't released it yet, mm-hmm. but an audio trip review is going to be a, another segment that we're going to do. And we're going to be reviewing uh, California by Blink-182. Yeah, yeah. For, for I think steps. that'll be really good. I just think I, mm-hmm. I love the idea of it because like I was telling you, you can do so much with, you know, you can go from like long, like in-depth reviews or you could just do like a, these are my favorite of these movies. Like there's just so many different things you can yeah. do with it that I just think I, it's the top 10 list. I'm with that. I think it's perfect. I, I even love like a like a like a a funny review, you know, mm-hmm. where it's not necessarily like this in depth review, but it's like a comedic routine, but it's still a review. Yeah, I, I, I watch that shit all the time, dude. Yeah, comedic that's pretty review. much the extent of what I watch. Exactly. Watch Mojo. I remember when that was big. <laughs> you watch Austin Erupts, Nostalgia Critic, AVGN. You know, like I watch all that shit, man. It's just like it's it's reviews, but it's it's yeah. not really. So yeah. I think the I think the potential is limitless and I'm very excited to be a part of it, you know, yeah, and I know right. you're leading it, but I'm very excited to be a part of it. No, but I mean, that's what I, that's the point is I wanted to get everybody involved where it's like, I don't want to just pick the movies. Of course, we're going to do like some of the blockbusters that come out every year, like the big movies. But in between, I want like everybody to just throw out movies they want to do a review and then we can cover them <laughs> put out some wild shit <laughs> that's what i'm saying because i want some movies that maybe you guys have seen i haven't seen or stuff that i've seen that maybe you guys haven't seen that like we get a fresh perspective on as well so i, I, mean, wild, I promise no, i guarantee <laughs> it but i'm gonna do some wild shit on purpose type of wild shit like things yeah. that i know that like i watched on accident and like i'm like praying that you, you guys mentioned seen about it. stuff you've seen on accident already <laughs> like no. right so <laughs> some of the weird stuff you've seen I definitely yeah, want to yeah. do that. And of course, as a big horror fan, I want to do something crazy cool for October Halloween. every year. Mm-hmm. So I you know, look forward to that because I haven't really put it together, but I, I should start here soon because I want to do something really special through the month of October. Here soon. Yeah. Just for the plan. I'll be in on that. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, you should start recording this soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know it's only May, but <laughs> <laughs> get started because there's going to be a lot of it. <laughs> so, yeah look forward to that that's going to be really cool I'm, I'm looking forward to you know making all these cool videos and I'm it's just so like nice. small content to, to i know the kong vs godzilla is a little long <laughs> yeah yeah it's smaller all, content you know it's 59 we're minutes fine. instead of you know an hour and a half combat <laughs> review is shorter than that so baby steps. we're on the right track. baby steps we're on the right <laughs> we're refining um but yeah and then of course we have squad nights every monday that's gotten a little bit more refined as well um but it's uh, we're almost done with Zombie Army Four. I think why you missed that one. We we only got well. Alex didn't change the difficulty to three people instead of four, so we were on hard mode for four people, uh, and we were getting kind of cocky. <laughs> and we got we even so kicked a dude. I a dude him, joined us and we kicked his ass. Exactly <laughs> what you just said. I was like, Alex put it on four people, and we expected you to join halfway through because we were just talking <laughs> last night. And I was like, and we got cocky, and we, <laughs> we, we got, got destroyed. <laughs> I was like, we were getting kind of fur. We got further. We, got we further, did. But we got stuck at a certain point. Alex, at one point, me and Vernon had like <laughs> less than 10,000 score, and Alex b- almost broke 100,000. Oh he God. carried us <laughs> It's like, had like a combo rolling. No, it's just because so we got to a checkpoint and we would respawn and me and Vernon respawned on top of each other and this grenade launcher guy would spawn and just blast us. Oh, like, like, every just time around just killing everything. Yeah, pretty much. Through, but yeah, it's great. So yeah, keep, stay tuned to a squad night um because that's that's gonna be fun. Um yeah, actually here goes by like we'll be getting to some like bigger game, like multiplayer games. I would love to. And Vernon kind of brought it up, I think, two Squad Night episodes ago. I would love if we would get these, like, short contained games and just go through them. Like, these four-player, 
contain games and just and as long as it takes if it's a three part or two part or yeah, yeah whatever they are <laughs> that, like, is it, then, just like zombie army a 10 or 12 hour game <laughs> online that exists now we have an archive of zombie army of us beating it together and i'm, I'm sure <laughs> yeah, you know what million. I mean? like, we could even go through like and i know we're excited for back for blood but we can go through the left for dead games we could go to that that GT, that GTFO game I was talking about. Like yeah. any game that's yeah, like yeah. a four player that comes out here. Players. Yep. Especially if it's older and nostalgic. If we oh, can get, yeah. if we could yeah. all get it, like we should all play it. Like that. that would exactly. be I own Left 4 Dead too, by the way. We could even Just do like Mario and shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we already talked about getting together like in like the same room and actually gaming, you know, playing. Oh Mario. man, I, mm -hmm. I really want to do that shit because I want to drink. <laughs> Why we do that? Well, I, I well that leads much, perfectly but... into the the obligatory. Uh, Lauren should move out real soon. Guys. <laughs> 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 we gotta get know, that out of the way. So here. <laughs> he so hasn't said it in like five weeks, so I mean, he's got to get it out. <laughs> Until Laura moves out of the basement, yeah, well, we get the studio built. Out, man. It's you had five out. weeks to get her out of there, Alex. <laughs> it's been like 40 weeks, 40 episodes. It's been more than that since you yeah. started saying anything, any week now. You said about this in like the six months leading up to us actually doing this. <laughs> it's, it's been well over a year that she's been leaving. They, their offer has been accepted on a house. Their closing date is the 19th. It's got to be somewhere around there, right? Don't, like, okay. It's actually gotta be, right? It's going to turn it into like, until I get the studio built. <laughs> oh, fuck that, dude. I will put a couch and a TV down there. I don't give a shit. Let's move on with life. <laughs> We'd be fine. Oh, the studio God. is going eventually. Well, like, Alex, speaking of moving on with life, <laughs> you got uh, some big things to tell us that you've I been, uh, you've been moving My, on with. My and I got to tell you guys, the opportunity to take a break has come at not a more opportune time because <laughs> I took a huge step in life and I got engaged in our uh, our thing. And <laughs> it might have been a surprise, not a super surprise to you and Evan or Wyatt and Evan, but I told Vernon like what a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe. I, like, I remember you saying time. you were going to do it, but you'd never yeah. really like said yeah, anything you didn't more say about it. it. You're oh, just I like, told, I'm going to propose. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> well, I told me and Vernon had like a heart to heart one time. He came over to my house and I drove him home one time. We had like a heart to heart. Like, <laughs> like I'm doing it, man. Like, you re like soon. And then like a year later, I did it. But like, you know, right. soon. Yeah. I, I, was, I, I love like this dynamic of all four of us because we've been friends for so long that like we all have them individual relationships and the group relationship you know what i mean so like yeah. it's just nice i appreciate you guys i'm so for <laughs> the comeback episode i appreciate y'all but congratulations <laughs> alex i am yeah. so damn happy for yeah. you i texted you the other day i was like because i was just thinking about it dude like i'm on my own thinking about it just like i'm so fucking happy <laughs> for you i just I just because we've known each other for so long, it's just another step. I remember Alex in high school saying, "Like I'm, I'm never getting married, bro. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Like that's not for me. I'm never getting married." Right, but still, to, to be yeah. fair, in high school, it was a, uh, it was a different life, man. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm very excited. I, I mean, everybody kind of knows Marissa, especially people that watch Tap That. She's been on it like a few times. I mean, the voice behind it, but not really on it. But like, <laughs> she's my best friend, man. It's it's happy. It's a good Aww. time. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a good time, man. We're we're excited. We're planning our wedding. I think we're gonna get married, twenty twenty three. So like oh. a two year engagement. Oh, twenty twenty three, Alex. It's I want to get drunk years. at your wedding. You can't be. <sighs> And it's expensive. Y'all want to give me like a like a like a gift of a couple grand so I can no. just like it in all chip in so it can <laughs> be in a couple months. Yeah, so we, we, did, <laughs> we did. We picked a venue already. We priced everything up. Like we're on top of the game. We just yeah. think we're gonna need about two years to like yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. It it makes like sense. I could do it. I could figure it out in a year. But I think two years is gonna be enough for us to comfortably save it up. You know. Yeah. I we, mean, we have kids yeah, and shit. Yeah. So we got we got to take care of them still. It'd be different if we were single and we could live off ramen for the next year and a, like a year and get married. But we can't, man. I got, I got I got feed kids to feed and I can't be feeding them ramen for the rest of the You life. need to buy chicken nuggets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I need to get chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah. I just want chicken nuggets. That's but awesome. Yeah, I'm though. excited. I took I took a good solid like I, I very purposely engage got engaged when I got engaged, like ask her to marry me. Um 
so I go a little bit into that story. So Marissa is, oh, you guys remember Marissa? She's she wouldn't like public. So I asked my boss, who's married, I was like, when do you think I should propose? And he's like, make sure there's somebody there to record your proposal, or they're gonna be mad later. And I was like, all right, so I gotta get somebody there. But I was like, she's not gonna like public. She wouldn't like if I like took her to yeah. a baseball game or in a restaurant. She'd hate that. <laughs> yeah. So I I planned it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna ask her on my birthday, and I'm gonna get like all my like friend my family together, my friends together, and so they can record it and she won't expect yeah. that it's happened because of You wouldn't you know, think it'd be on your birthday. You know, it would be yeah, something yeah, yeah. like a holiday or her birthday or something like that. Exactly. You know? Yeah, that's I like that. So so I did it on my birthday weekend. It was a couple days after my birthday, but my birthday weekend. <laughs> she was funny. I don't know if you guys saw the video on Facebook. Mm-hmm. She's just like she's like, why? Why on your birthday? <laughs> she's just like crying, like sobbing. She's like, why would you do this on your birthday? <laughs> so then her crying made me cry <laughs> because I'm not I'm not as tough as I'd like to be. But <laughs> so I'm crying. And then I'll tell you what, man, the one thing that got me like after the fact is I invited my uncle Jordan and my uncle Jordan is this rough, gruff <laughs> military dude, like has been serious from the time he came out as uh, out of the womb. Dude, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he has been doing push ups since he was five. Like, like he, he came like, out of the womb wearing like spit shine boots. Yeah, man, <laughs> he is like he is rough. He's gruff. And he is he's he's a very he's a very serious kind of person, which is fine. I love my Uncle Jordan. He's been a great influence in my life. And I got I'm talking to him afterwards and he's like, oh, congratulations. He's like, and I was like, oh, yeah, man, I cried. I didn't want to cry. And he's like, man, I cried over here. <laughs> he's like, I was crying. And I was like, oh, well, he's got a heart. <laughs> he's sitting there just like wiping his <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> But it was uh, oh, it was man. good. Um a, awesome. a, a lot of thought went into it. I, I mean, I don't know how much you guys want to hear into it. I know Evan, was, you're kind of curious about the engagement ring. I'm kind of curious. Like, yeah, I just, I'm just kind of curious on how much planning actually went into it because uh, my engagement had zero planning at all. So, oh, John. Um, so, before I get into, or do you want after I get into it? I want to kind of know yours. Oh, I'll tell you like, mine real how quick. Much planning? None. Absolutely none. So, <laughs> <laughs> in a jewelry store, it's like, so right, just like. Uh, all right. So just imagine like it, it sounds so I pretty much I knew I was going to do it eventually. I didn't have anything grand plan because you guys know Brittany. She wouldn't want anything public. I mean, not even what you did. She yeah. wouldn't want anyone, you know, just because she doesn't like to be the yeah. center of attention. That, yeah, that was like you were there. <laughs> that's what her biggest thing was with the wedding was she doesn't like people like all eyes on her. So I, I I knew it wouldn't be anything like that. I wouldn't go to yeah baseball game or anything crazy like yeah, that. Almost right. But so pretty much I, I bought the ring. I knew I was going to do it eventually. And it was pretty much just burning a hole in my pocket, like literally on fire. And I'm like, I just got to do this. So my my plan was I, I knew the day I was going to do it because we were hanging out that day. So what I was actually going to do was um, cause I was at my dad's, I was actually going to take her on like a walk in the woods and make it like, kind of like, you know, a nice little like intimate kind of thing. You know, like we're alone in nature, that kind of thing. Um, but like the implication, she has to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to say yes. Like, we're, we're in the middle of the woods. The woods. Say yes or else. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, like just something, you know, a, a kind of like away, you know, it was, it was just us, you know, there's no one around that kind of thing. You're kind but, of cementing the point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, no one's here. If you say no, <laughs> I fucking dare you. There's no pressure. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but so anyway, she didn't want to walk in the woods because she was wearing sandals. <laughs> and I'm like, nah. no, we really should, you know, take because I have it like, you know, like I'm I'm like ready to do this. And she's like, no, I really don't want to. Like, I really don't want to go. And I'm like kind of getting upset. Because like, I'm like, I want to do this. You're like, I'm a fucking plan. I'm, exactly it. And we we were gonna then we were gonna go get ice cream or something at TK's. And she's like, Why are you upset? And I'm like, Do you want to know why I'm upset? And, and then like I literally I got out of the car and then got down on my knee and did it right there in the car. And oh, I'm like, That's, that's why going. I'm upset. <laughs> like the middle of a. And I know it wasn't a fight, but like the no, middle of like a, a not shiny moment. Being yeah. like, you know what? Even in this moment, 
this, like, I'm doing on, it. Do like, it needs yeah. to be done right now. Like, like that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. it was so marry stupid you. because like I didn't have like you know I didn't even have like a thing set out there or something. You know, like a banner. Or, you know, it was just like I I needed to to do it like right now, and she didn't want to, and I'm like. No, Wait, like you want to get married? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert! Like, this uh, is gonna happen, happen now. Oh, this like is happening one way or another. But yeah, so yeah, mine was terrible in terms of planning, and yeah, it's kind of sweet in a way. But I think it's it kind of sweet. Man. I think it's kind of sweet. sweet that it was burning a hole in your pocket. Dude, like, it was because like mine was two exactly weeks. That was it. Cal- <laughs> yeah, mine was calculated, dude. Mine yeah. was like I had a plan. I had like shit going on. Like I was ready for it, man. <laughs> See, my idea like, was like I get the ring and then I make the plan, and then we'll go from there. And then that's how it ended up. So, so when you yeah. got the ring, you just like went to a jewelry store, got a ring, like that no, one. I actually, um, I enlisted the help of um, Cal at the time um to help me out because i had no clue like i had a clue i knew what she wanted but i just kind of wanted some other opinion on it um so yeah but no i went you know i I actually did plan getting i didn't just like wake up i'm like i gotta go buy a ring (laughs) (laughs) i actually planned the day out and actually went and got one and you know got a second opinion on you know what it would be and everything so yeah Yeah, no other than that she had no clue it was coming obviously uh, she thought she was getting ice cream. So <laughs> now she got engaged and got some yeah, ice cream. Yeah, and then it lasted and for like two years. <laughs> yeah. We were engaged for a while. Ice. <laughs> ice on ice. <laughs> I, I think it's sweet, Evan. I mean, I know you're you're kind of downplaying it, oh, but I God. think just like again, like the the like I got to do this even in a rough moment where I'm upset. You know, <laughs> like. It's still it's and cute, I don't man. get upset it's easily cute. like, you know, of course, I'm, like I, I never get like it takes yeah, me sure. a, a little bit to get mad and I wasn't mad, but I'm just like, you know, like sure. But we're, I yeah. mean, we're all in relationships. And we understand but that it's totally it's not rational best days, you know, like, you know, like sometimes you're not. Why you're would not she walk in the woods with flip flops on? You know, like I wouldn't oh, want to. Yeah, like, <laughs> it makes total sense why she like, didn't want the reason. to. That's like, the reason you don't want to go to the woods right now. Because the fucking... I'll go buy you. You should have just picked her up. You just picked her up and carried her to the woods. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do it right here. It was just a totally <laughs> spontaneous thing that... Like, I knew it was going to happen, but I had no yeah, plan. I think it's cute. Too. I was just like, screw it. Yeah, no man. plan. We're doing it. Um, yeah. so I you, mean, just to get in mind, I have a little more detail, and obviously it's because I just did it recently, <laughs> but... I, uh, like I said, like probably two years ago was really, really when I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to plan this out. I picked specifically, and this is the only, not the only, but this is a selfish decision. I picked specifically April to propose to her because I planned on having about a a 14 month engagement. And I was like, (laughs) oh, that'll make sure we get married in like june july ish Mm -hmm. and that's not near any other major holidays my birthday her birthday the kids birthdays christmas you know i think you should pick july 19th and that's not any specific date um (laughs) i'm just saying i think that'd be a great date to get married oh no man it No, uh, so I picked like specifically like I was like I want a summer wedding because it's not close to any like made because our original anniversary was February 11th, which is three days before Valentine's Day. So I was always getting double dipped right yeah. there, which was two months after Christmas, you know, and which is two months before my birthday. Your own anniversary. Goddamn right, you know, like <laughs> I'm gonna get my anniversary it's where it's like, like the Levar Burton meme, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He is on another level with Dude, this shit, man. Calculated. So I was like, I'm going to ask her. You know, I was planning. It took it probably took me about half a year to plan like how I was going to do it with the birthdays and stuff. Jeez. Like I said, I wanted I wanted somebody there to film, but not that she would know. I wanted it to be an absolute surprise. No inkling of like a thought that I was going to do it. Yeah, because when you did it was when someone was when you were opening your presence, which is a totally logical time that someone would be having a camera out. Like yeah, that yeah, just yeah. makes sense as to like yep. when someone would be recording. Like absolutely no clue. Evil genius. It, yeah, yeah it, it's perfect. <laughs> I plan. I plan that. We we're here taking notes. Listen, even more into the planning. <laughs> I got them to all dress nice, my kids included, because Marissa was bugging me like seven months before it that she wanted to take like a family picture. Like we don't have any family. Oh my pictures. god. 
So I invited that out. God. I invited my Jesus. aunt, and I was like, "Can you come over and take family pictures of us?" And then I'm gonna engage the. Sa- I'm gonna propose to her the same day, which my aunt knew. And I was like, "I'm gonna propose She's to her." Knocking all. everything my out on one day. Not Damn, only that, mind. He killed two birds with one stone. Okay, he even so got the family pictures out of the way. We Four took family pictures, man, and then we got engaged, and we were all dressed nice, including my kids. That like they were like presentable and not like and it makes sense. And shit she thought they were just are. getting pictures taken. Yeah. Like, so, so we were all dressed nice. I asked her on that day. Um, the engagement ring, I I put some thought into. Because, again, I wanted to be a surprise, so I didn't ask her like what she would like. Mm-hmm. Now I know Marissa's; she's more of a like a simple kind. Of, she likes simple stuff. She's not really a jewelry mm-hmm. person, so she, I knew I was like, she's not gonna want like a gauge where like five hundred diamonds mm-hmm. on it or anything. <laughs> so I knew I was gonna get like a one stone diamond. Um, my only stipulation was that it had to be rose gold. Mm-hmm. Had to be because that's like her favorite. Like my bathrooms are rose gold. That's like her favorite thing. So first trip, I took my mom and my sister and we, and we visited Zales first trip. He took two trips. I took two trips, <laughs> took, visited, we visit, I actually took three trips, but, uh, we took, took three trips. We went to Zales first and we were kind of perusing and I'm not going to lie. I had a bit of a panic attack and I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I gotta get out of here. Like I, I cannot be in this jewelry store anymore. So I left, but the lady was so nice to me at that <laughs> Zales. I went back and I, and same day at this point, and I bought Marissa like an opal necklace because her birthstone's opal, an opal necklace and an opal set of earrings. It was like, I don't know, like 300 bucks or something. This guy. So I, was, I was like, I'm gonna buy her that and I'm just gonna like give her that one day, you know? So I just like came home that day and gave her that. <laughs> then I- Threw the sun off. That nothing was like, that was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got like, something else. Exactly, like- <laughs> Look at that. She kind of knew I was at a jewelry store already, so I was like, I have to have an excuse of why I was at this See, jewelry store. look at store. you. You a mastermind. <laughs> so then the next day I went out and I went to – or not the next day. The next weekend I went out with my sister only. Um, I did find a ring that I really liked, and I went into so much thought, man. We were talking, me and the lady, and she's like, well, what does she do? You know, like is she in the medical field, blah, 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 because you don't want a, a ring that sticks up too mm-hmm. much. Because she'll rip her gloves. And I was like, no, she works from home. She just types mostly. I was like, but she does crochet. Yeah. So I don't want something that'll catch her her yarn when she's like pulling it through her fingers, you know, because she crochets all the time. And that's how much I thought about this ring. So I found a ring. I'm sure you guys saw the picture that it's kind of raised. So it's got kind of a channel to it. And I was like, oh, she could set the yarn right there. It'll be like a <laughs> feeding like trophy, you know, like she could just feed the yarn through it. It's a it, tool. You know? It's a tool at this point. <laughs> So I, I found the ring, found the ring skull. The ring wasn't that much, man. So <laughs> leading into this, and again, I had about I had about a year and a half to plan. You know, I'm I'm reading I'm reading into things, and it's like, oh, you know, it should be three months' salary. You know, yeah. <laughs> and at that point, you know, like I, I do pretty well for myself. So like my three months' salary is like, oh shit, that's an expensive <laughs> ring. <year." laughs> so like. I'm going Three to all months. these shops. I'm going to all these shops and I'm like, and I knew Marissa wanted something simple and I'm like, and I'm beating myself up and I shouldn't have been, but I'm beating myself up and I'm just like, none of these simple rings are anywhere, anywhere what I want to spend. You know, like I <laughs> saved this money on purpose to do this for yeah. her, you know, like, like I'm not going to get her a thousand dollar ring and, and I'm not, no, no, I know what you're, not, I know what you're saying. Yeah. That, but like, you got to play in mind. Yeah, I had yeah. saved up this money. I want to spend the money I saved up. And I'm beating myself up because every ring I'm looking at is like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks, eight hundred bucks. I'm like, these are these are nothing. What is everybody bitching about engagements for? You know, <laughs> like these rings are nothing, you know. <laughs> I've been but, <laughs> and and to teach you two who might do it someday. The the ring is not where the money is. It's the goddamn diamond. It's the diamond mm-hmm. itself. Because I, I bought the ring thinking, oh, the ring has the diamond in it. No, that shit's glass in there. That's not a diamond. They're not <laughs> putting the diamonds out there. She brings me these options of diamonds, and she's like, this is 3000 This is 5000 And just one diamond. Just one fucking diamond, you know? And and this might be... I spent 4600 on her ring in total, okay? Mm-hmm. And her her... 
thing was of 800 bucks and the rest was the diamond. Yeah. The rest is the diamond, dude. It is like, I picked like this flawless, like it is the closest to flawless you can get. <laughs> and listen, I watched a documentary. All that shit's made up. That's mumbo yep. fucking mumbo. <laughs> That's it's made carbon. Up by <laughs> it's like, probably, dude. It's but, all like, just carbon. <laughs> it wasn't lab grown. Point. Yeah, that wasn't the point. Lab grown, probably. And she'd have been completely happy with that. And I know, like, Marissa's, I don't want to say I spent all this money because she'd have been like, no, I won't take that. She would have been fine with whatever I got her. It was just the point that I saved up. It was yeah. Right. the yeah. point of it's me important. being like, it's important. It, mm-hmm. It's important to like show. You said and, this shit's more your car. Yeah, it, you know it's I mean? to show her like, listen, I didn't just like I'm here for the long haul. Like I, I've been doing I've been working at this, you know, like oh. I've been putting my money aside for this shit. I've been working at this shit, been you know, planning for a year and a half, which is a <laughs> another kind of sweet. And not that yours isn't sweet. I mean, the spur of the month <laughs> is very sweet, too. But like, it's another kind of sweet, you know, like yeah. the planning is sweet, too. I mean, and to be fair, Marissa, when when I got that, when I got her ring, my car at the time was worth like. 800 bucks. So, yeah, no, I no, mean, it was more than my car. <laughs> uh, no, but I know, I know it's what you totally, mean. yeah, it's a totally different experience. I actually love your engagement. I was I also in a very different place in life where you were, sure. at. I mean, I was making like $9 an hour whenever I yeah. proposed. You, had a, you probably had a job at that point. I have a career. Like, oh, I, yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm advancing in my company, you know, like I'm doing well. So like, like I knew what I wanted and this wasn't, and again, not not saying anything about you. This wasn't my first relationship. You know, this wasn't even the first time I felt like I needed to marry somebody. You know, mm-hmm. like when I dated Danny, I felt like I was going to marry her. But this is the first time it came to fruition where I was yeah. like, you know what? Like, I love this person and, and it's working, you know, and I don't have any second thoughts. So anyways, <laughs> told you, I do you want to take a break, time. Alex? I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> so anyways, off the ring. Um, it, she loved it. She cried. You guys saw the engagement video. She bawled like a baby and made me ball. Um, and we're happy. You know, it's like it's almost like a second honeymoon phase, you know, like mm-hmm. we're like super in love now. I mean, that'll fade eventually and we'll, we'll go back to our. Well, uh, I mean, you have the actual honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, maybe that's, <laughs> that's another. Funny. It's like the stock market. We'll just re- yeah, yeah, yeah. And listen, lo- relationships are like that. There's highs and lows, you know, <laughs> like that's how it is, you know. Not that we were in a low when we like got engaged, but you know, like we're at a high now and I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. You know, she's excited. I'm excited to plan it with her. She was like, she was like, Oh my God, you're actually taking like investment in planning this wedding with me. I was like, dude, I'm just excited for this wedding as you are. Like, I like can't. you just need to stop. I have it. Everything planned out. Like, like I, I've already planned this shit. Out. You pick the oh, colors man. of the flowers and I have everything else if actually she, planned out. If <laughs> she would let me dude. I, I would have the wedding. I mean, it probably wouldn't get done on the timeline <laughs> she wanted to get done. Cause I'm more, I'm more last lackadaisical she's she's definitely more of like a kind of person <laughs> but like you know opposites attract you know i'm just here like yeah yeah it'll get done she's like no 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 no. this is what we have to do this month this is what we have to do this month so but if she let me plan it i plan the whole fucking thing dude mm-hmm. the whole goddamn thing but um just to piggyback on the story we did pick a wedding venue it was very hard um but it is gorgeous and i, I cannot wait for you guys to join me i'm very excited i'm excited of course excited. i'm course super you guys excited man i'm excited for you wedding and your plus ones um i told you you're welcome <laughs> to bring your kids i know you said you probably Why missed that having. conversation <laughs> oh yeah i was like i told him on last squad night at Wyatt. i was like you can bring your kids you know my kids will be there and they're just like evan was like man i get like two excuses every year to get drunk i ain't bringing my kids <laughs> and then vernon was basically like well if evan's getting drunk i want to get because <laughs> yeah, like i was I'm completely in the whole mindset of like you guys are getting drunk and i'm gonna get drunk yeah but then he said that and i'm like wait <laughs> Wait a second. So, so I'll have to figure plus it out. one. That means there's a driver taking us home. Listen, <laughs> yeah, that, so well, you said there's a hotel, different. right? There is a hotel two miles away from it, and it. I'm at a bed and breakfast, but there's only two rooms. So that's like first come, first serve. Like, get in there. I'll take the <laughs> second room, Alex. Don't you? Two worry. rooms. I'll keep you company. But there's a hotel literally <laughs> with an Uber distance. Like it's yeah. two miles. You could probably walk there if you really were like. What well, area? Like, to. It's Mechanicsburg. Oh, nice. Actually, Vernon, you know the giant we used to work at? We were talking about this earlier tonight. Right. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes from that. Like <laughs> six minutes from that, dude. It's like up the road from it. Perfect. Cool. Close. I can't, I'm excited for you, man. We get an Uber home if you yeah, want. Yeah, really. You can just Uber home. I mean, it might cost you a little more, but you definitely We're going to use up that. all the Ubers in our area, by the way, because there's like <laughs> four. <laughs> like three active drivers, probably. Listen, me and Marissa are probably getting a limo home, so like... <laughs> 
we might throw you in it. If you, How's if that limo going to go around the roundabout, you Alex? Your eyes for like uh, 25 minutes, you know, on the ride home. Cause like, I ain't got no promises there. Like if you can just close your eyes for like 25 minutes, I'll get, I'll get you at least close to your house. Can you imagine a limo going through both those roundabouts? Like that with Alex in it, like it's just going to drive yeah, right over. The... Going by. <laughs> I don't want to get that be, low. Listen, you, uh, but bring your kids. And here's what I'm doing. If you want to partner with your, if with somebody, my kids are coming, but I'm going to ha- probably have them out by like seven o'clock. So I have like a good few hours of like, just, just us, you know? Yeah. So like, I'm going to bring, I'm going to be I'm there gonna... until so that closing gives us time. A lot of time to play on your bachelor party. You got a lot of time. Oh shit! Can I tell I you what I'd like even... to do? Do I get an option? No. I mean, you could probably put in some <laughs> yeah. suggestions. All right. If I get a suggestion, I'd like to go and get some good ass seats to a Brooklyn Nets game and see Ooh. it with you guys and just drink, just like Dang. we can go. New York. You talk we can New York bachelor party. We can go oh. out to the club oh, if that's what you want. Whatever you want after that, all I want is to see a Brooklyn Nets game with some decent seats. I'm not talking front row. If you want to get me like club seats up in the top, just some nice seats. Nets <laughs> game. I'm just like I didn't even think about this shit yet, and now I'm just running. Yeah, I, I actually did not even think of the uh, the whole bachelor we party idea. Alex blindfolded, and we go we're like, where are we taking you guys? And he we're gonna throw him in the trunk and just drive him to New York. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, we go to unblindfold, and we go be standing there, and we go meet KD and James Harden. Oh or something. my god! Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm so like, excited. <laughs> you know, are, you know, like, if you can get the script for me too, they would like. <laughs> That's a good starting point, though. Smash the party, Alex. That's a good starting point, though, because that's a good, like, that could I even, honestly, like, be a middle-of-the-night type of thing. You I know honestly I mean? like, don't care where we go. New York's probably got tons of breweries. You guys know me. You take me oh, to a brewery yeah. in a Nets game, I'm happy. Like, if wow. you guys want to go to the club and party, mm-hmm. you know I'm down for that, too. I don't give a shit. Let's go. But, like, whatever we'll you think, want. Take yourself to, we'll we'll figure this Vegas, shit out. You give us up. dates, Alex, and we'll take care of it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting real. married it's gotta be the not next season. June or not this June, not next June, but the, the June after. That's what so you got. You, you have to have a, you, it has to be a finals game. <laughs> I was like, I guess that's what it is. Oh no, <laughs> not only do like, we have to get the money for finals tickets. Your nets have to be there. In no, the first listen, place. You can have a bad, it doesn't yeah, it have to be like, like a month or two before, ahead of time. Three months All right. Yeah, yeah, okay, it then, be like two days it could be a fucking playoff game. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, could, it could be an end of the season game. I don't I'm care. just like, I'm, like you said, like you were playing shit. I'm thinking in my head, like, how's this gonna work? June, <laughs> who's gonna be playing? Wait, that's about the finals. Like, I'm just like, Burns, Burns doing his own mastermind thing already. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I was taking notes. Alex was explaining this shit. I'm if like, you guys, yeah, I'm, like, I'm very good at yourself. planning, like the, uh, like I'm very good at planning locations and stuff. I can take care of like hotel, like <laughs> me driving no ideas. At you. Yes, <laughs> Man, I, yes. Like, I can map out the day unrealistic. and That's and where we're staying and everything. But you guys got to plan the activities. All right, we got this. You don't have an, a laminated itinerary. That is if we walk behind us with a clipboard. Now, um, now no. I do. I I want to apologize right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna apologize for Marissa. <laughs> Marissa don't have any friends, so I have oh to God. match her. I have to match her bridal party. So like, just just know that, guys. All right, <laughs> okay. just know that. I love all of you. I promise. Okay, but just know that I have That's to match fine. her bridal party. I understand. Fine. Okay, I understand. You're all absolutely invited. That's so what guarantee. you're saying is Vegas, huh? <laughs> So we're, who's the biggest? No, no, no. never mind. Never mind. What'd you say? What'd you I, say? I was I going mean, the total opposite of what you just said. Oh, you're good. No, no, no. Tiny. I, I she's like one friend. I know, Alex. I know. <laughs> That's it. I'm working on it. OK, I'm trying to make her <laughs> friends. I got two years to make her friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody you got girls who really want a, 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 an antisocial friend? I'm getting to be best friends with like, I'll, you got they, two years. They talk. 
their friends on Facebook. We just got to get them together. Yeah. Start getting together, talking. We got to start hanging out more. Brittany would do it. Yeah. All right. So we got Brittany and Nett. We're, we're, we're working up. And listen, if Brittany and Nett come in, that, that's you guys. And you can even walk down the aisle with them, you know? Like, <laughs> boom. Boom. boom, bang, and slam. Boom. This is just plan. checking them off the list. Like, yeah. yeah. We helping already. <laughs> Oh my God! But, th- but that's my engagement story. I'm I'm very happy to be to be married or to be a fiance. Uh, Exciting! You know, oh, you shit. guys! I want to let you know, just in case I do it in my vows. You guys know that Mad TV sketch where he's like, "Can I have your number? Can I have your number?" And then he's like, "What's your name?" She's like, "Yvonne." He's like, "Yvonne? That's a French ass name, Yvonne." <laughs> my little baguette, my little croissant. <laughs> my you know what I'm talking croissant. about? I feel like I don't. that's very familiar, but I can't. He's like, like in a movie theater. It's like a super famous Mad TV sketch, and like me and Marissa make fun of it all the time. We're like fiance. I'm like in my vows. I'm like you're not gonna be my fiance. Can I have your hand in marriage? Can I have it? Like can I have your hand in marriage? Because that's like the whole skit. He's like, can I have it? Can I have? That's it? how you should have proposed. <laughs> he would have just looked at you like. Yo, I'm gonna do that in my vows, and like three people in my wedding are gonna get it. And be yeah, like, it's gonna be us. We're gonna laugh and be like, "Oh shit, that's funny as <laughs> shit." You actually did it. You oh. actually did it. And I also talked about because we're gonna have an open bar. Like I said, we already planned on it, and um, I, I'm gonna buy like Kirkland brand, which is like the uh, like the Costco's brand alcohol because it's cheap, dude. So I was like, I'm gonna buy. It. It's good, apparently. I've never had it, but I heard it's good. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of Kirkland brand alcohol. Like everybody can get drunk off that. But Listen, have you guys you seen drinks good? That's gonna be yeah. fun. Have you guys seen the the newer season of Rick and Morty where he I gives have. it? Uh, I want I'm, to. Just, I'm gonna spoil a little scene it's for you. He, he like he's like, give me a Meeseeks box, and he's like, I don't have any Meeseeks box. I'm gonna give you the Kirkland brand, and he gives him like a Kirkland brand, and he hits it, and it's this red Meeseeks smoking a cigarette, and he's like. He's like, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. What do you want? Yeah, I, I saw that in a trailer. Yeah. So because I gonna, I, I've seen that in the trailer. So I'm gonna have He's all got, like yellow hair. Yeah. I'm gonna have all the Kirkland brand alcohol there. So just say, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> just what I was like, what? Like four people in my wedding are gonna understand that joke, and they're gonna think it's hilarious. <laughs> hey, I'm so excited. A oh, little God. crap. It's gonna be a good time, man. Yeah, it is. I'm it's excited. We got we got a while to plan, but yeah, two years that's a while. Uh, we wanted to do a year, but we want like a we want like a decently sized wedding, and we just it wasn't. In the Dude, car. I mean, we could like even I said, we if could you it. want a small wedding, it is so hard to not have a big wedding. I mean, yeah, we wanted just like immediate family. I mean, like up to like aunts and uncles kind of thing. It yeah. was still almost a hundred people. Just, I mean, it's yeah. just oh. crazy. Man, we're at and we went a small done, wedding. We only did like our first like like guesstimate of how many people we need. We're already at 150 people, mm-hmm. and that's just like Damn. the first like guesstimate Damn. of people we need. Can I say real quick while we're talking about weddings, my favorite story from your wedding, Evan? <laughs> I know what the story is. I think we've talked <laughs> you, about it already. Haven't on the podcast. I'm pretty we? sure we've I think talked it was on about one it. of the earlier episodes. I don't care. We're saying it again because we're on the goddamn subject. You but might as well my, invite my dad. I mean. <laughs> Might as so, well, man. So Evan messages us when he gets his wedding and he tells us it's going to be a dry wedding, which we're very upset about, you know, and we're just like, what the fuck? But he said he does say to give him credit. He's like, listen, if you bring alcohol, I, I, I don't know. I don't see, you know, less, you know, the less you see. So Evan kind of like gave us the green light without giving us the green light, you know, like. So it's fine. I whatever. took it as. He gave us the green light. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, it was at a head, church. Like, the groom gave us permission to do this. <laughs> we That's were trying to keep it as cheap as possible. We had it at the church we were going to at the time. Also, never went back to church after we got married. <laughs> <laughs> never went back. And I actually feel bad because the pastor was kind of a cool guy. But yeah, but anyway, it was. No, uh, we were at a church cool and it was free. Understand. So. So we we stop us three and I think I, Cody was there too. We we all ride together, you know. We never brought up. We were each other's plus ones basically. Like so, yeah. we were all riding together, and we bring this this case <laughs> of I think Yingling. I think yingling. we were drinking. Yingling. Of course, it's Yingling. Yeah, we, we brought this case and we left it in my trunk in a cooler. 
And we're all standing around this trunk as the wedding's getting ready. We're drinking these beers. We were taking pictures, mind you. And my dad was not having it. So (laughs) that's cocktail hour. So I see Evan's dad on his cane walking up to us. And and I'm going to preface this story for all the viewers. Evan's dad hated me Mm -hmm. as a fucking kid. Hated me. And I'm staring at this man like, God damn it. Here I am (laughs) fucking his son's wedding up. Like, can this guy have any more reason to hate me? He's just coming up at us, blind <laughs> feet on his cane. I'm like, shit. We like closed the trunk, like all of our beers like lined up against. I don't it. think he ever hated me, man. No, <laughs> no. Vernon, I'm so, like, you I'm actually. Too. So there was a while, um, at whenever like if I was home alone or something, because my dad worked nights and stuff. There was a time where me and Bree each had a plus, like a a friend that was like. So for a while, it was like. No one over but Justin. Like that was like, you know, like we only had like one person. Vernon, you became the number two, actually. At oh. a certain point. It's like That's Justin and Vernon funny. are allowed over. That's it. Because like, <laughs> we used to chill all the time, yeah. no matter what, especially if it was summertime. You know Trust what I mean? Me, like, I was never yeah. on that list. No. I remember playing Evan with Evan and his dad just like pretty much the hate. I'm just kidding. I'm just I kidding. remember much. Alex. I don't know why I remember this very specifically. There was a day that we you were over and we were playing. I remember you had your Pokemon cards with you. I don't think it was the day with the dual disc. That might have been that day. But oh, I feel like I could feel my dad seething that you were in the house playing with me. <laughs> like <laughs> He hated me. And to be yeah. fair, I was an asshole kid. I mean, I, I ain't hating no Mark at this point. I was a dick of a child. So, like, I get it. Well, you know? I was just saying maybe that kind of, like, contributed to him being, like, able to do what you're saying next here. Yeah, you know sure, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. he didn't hate everybody that was there necessarily. And he knew, he's, he's no Cody. He Cody, Cody total no, no, opposite. Every, he loved yeah. Cody. He loved every, Cody. See? Every time I've met Mark since then, completely cool. Very nice. Been very because cordial with me. You're adults now. I'm an know, adult. I'm, exactly. I'm not the asshole kid getting his kid in trouble anymore. So I get it. You know, like <laughs> But anyways, he, he's, he's stomping up and the entire time I'm thinking, I'm like, oh my God, this guy's going to scream at me, dude. And he's like, I heard you have beer. And I'm just like, uh-oh. uh-oh. <laughs> and he goes to me, I want one. I'm like, oh. <laughs> just like, oh Mark, my that's God. That's what you have to say. We like open the trunk up. <laughs> yeah, go there you go. Mark. Like, what do you want? What selection do you need? <laughs> He told, I think his exact words was like, I can't do all these goddamn pictures. I need a beer. <laughs> I think those are the exact words. And I was like, all right, man, here you go. Have a, have a beer. That was great. In man. the front yeah. of a church, that sounds like my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember I remember we got there a little bit too late. And like, we just snuck in the time for the picture. And we're in the back <laughs> of that picture. Like, you know what I mean? Just like, just all chilling. And like, like just got a little, a little bit too late. Yeah. And, yeah, it was good. Yeah, wedding, wedding was good. Fun, I I do wish we could have done more, but we were completely broke. My dad pretty much paid for everything that wasn't like, I mean, really all we had to pay for was like food, dress, that kind of thing. But just great. Yeah, we we went so simple, and but it was great. What do you? What anniversary are you at? Uh, this year will be six. You guys should do, nice. I want to say 10, but that's too far. You guys should do like an eight year anniversary of like, not eight year, because it's two more years. That'd be my wedding. Uh, <laughs> seven, a seven, Can't intrude year, on yours. <laughs> a seven year anniversary party. And you should do like a, like a re, redo like everything. Not like Seven a re wedding. I mean, you could do like a, like just your vows again. And then like, of, do you remember your, your vows? Uh, I don't remember oh, my yeah. vows actually. I do remember yeah. though. Um, you know, I'll save the story for after we're done because right. uh, I'll just save it. But uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I, I think it'd be fun to renew with. your vows, man. I yeah, think my sister's going to do yeah. it. I think it would She's be. She's going to do it. But now, sister, now it's not a surprise because she watches this. So <laughs> My sister, one of her favorite stories from her wedding is you guys showing up and her panicking and being like, I have nobody to park these cars and you two being like, we'll park the cars in your red vest. Me and like, Wyatt talk about that shit, bro. We have, we have, we, we just talked talk about, about it recently, that. I'm pretty sure. Like <laughs> weeks that's ago. I, that's one of my favorite, favorite memories of my sister from her wedding, dude. She's just like, Cause she's like, we'll pay you in like drinks or whatever. <laughs> and like, we're like, what? No, we went to park cars. Yeah, where are we going to go? Where, where do we got to go? <laughs> where are we got to go? We're just like, <laughs> I, listen, I remember, and I I remember, I only remember I cars, one or, one or two cars 
that you guys couldn't drive because it was stick. And I don't think either of you know how to drive stick back then. And I just remember you calling me. And I was like, and I was like, I'll be done in a minute. Give me a second. I was like, running down. <laughs> no, like, I'll come work the car. I think we ran out of spaces at one point. We were like, well, I don't know where you want us to put these cars. Like, these two. <laughs> Oh, we, were, we were hustling them for a minute. We were. <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh, they were. They I'll were. Forget that either. That was they a worked. really fun wedding that as was. well. And we danced our asses off. Oh, yeah. Got all wine drunk. Listen, wine one drunk. of one of the <laughs> venues we didn't pick. It was beautiful. But she was like, oh, this seat's like 130 people. And we're like, oh, we're going to have a little bit more than that. And she's like, oh, we can get rid of the dance floor. And we're like, fuck no. 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 <laughs> no. no. The dance floor is happening. Like, I don't know what needs talk to about. be there. So, yeah. like, I, the other day, um, the other weekend, me and Brittany, we, we went out or we went away for a weekend. And she's never actually really seen me drunk before. And I told her, I'm like, uh, I get a little dancey when I'm drunk. So yeah. <laughs> that's like one thing I like told Annette, and like a lot of people are like need to know is the squad when we're chilling, we get a little dancey. <laughs> <can't. And> <laughs> dance, it doesn't matter if we our dates are there. All of us are on the floor dancing together if we have to. I remember three years so Eve, we in Harrisburg, bro, and yeah. the bars were packed full. Packed full, and we were like, "No, nah, we ain't about this." We went to like this little, like, <laughs> like Indian bar, Hollywood. Four people. Yeah, it was like a Bollywood bar. Yeah, four, like four people in there, and we were just like all the dance floor, <laughs> four, four people. Just Bollywood down. music, just like <laughs> yeah, Bollywood music playing. We had. A, I got a drink at the bar. <laughs> Picture Alex where he was. Leaning at the wall. Of course he's leaning. <laughs> I still have that video. I, I, but he's in the hallway oh. against the wall like this. But he's sleep. still vibing. He's like, because <laughs> you can hear the music in the background. And he's just like, kind of like vibing, waiting for the bathroom. You know what I mean? But he's Taking just like, really, nap. oh my God. At one point in the night, somehow we're all getting on that dance floor. Listen, I, I hope in my wedding you all up on me because I... When I went to my buddy Dallas's wedding, and I was like one of the only people up on that dance floor dancing, and I was dancing with like bridesmaids, I was dancing with like little girls that were like <laughs> little kids that were up there. Like I was just dancing, yeah. and I couldn't get Marissa up on the dance floor. She wasn't drunk enough. She's like, no, no. And I'm just like, fuck it. So, dude, I'm just like, even my own wedding, dude, I'm gonna be out there just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time, man. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy for you and I'm excited for it. Good. I'm not happy it's so long or so far away, but you know. Man, I really want that year. Like wedding. I gotta wait for a Marvel movie. Like <laughs> am I gonna get Thor four first or am I gonna get the wedding first? Like what's coming? Like, Thor four. <laughs> Wedding and we got a plan to save up for the bachelor party. Right. I'm really excited about that too. Like, that's that's a whole new like thing in my brain now i'd be excited at this point because we haven't been together and for so long man we could go up to a cabin and just drink and i'd be excited to go do it it's been a while since we've all hung out together you know i know it's bullshit right outside of new york i'll be happy i'll be fine right in times square or uh central park yeah We'll pop up a cabin. We'll bring a pop up and just park it in Times Square. Just camp in that museum. There's a museum in Central Park. It is dope. It's got dinosaurs and shit. Maybe they come alive at that. I'm pretty sure murders (laughs) happen in Central Park like a lot, but you know, fuck it. Oh god, really? I don't think they do. Yeah, no, I think they do. I think it's like a common known thing not to walk. Stat check that. Yeah. Wait, not at night or just in general? At night. No, at night. At night. Yeah, fact check that. Because it was pretty nice when I went. Yo, SpongeBob's talking about Central Park. <laughs> That's what he's afraid of. I only saw like two homeless people when we were there. I'm just saying. I don't think the it's homeless nice. people robbing you. I think it's the homeless people killing people. Yeah, man. Well, I, I'm just saying it looked like a nice area. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it changes at night. I don't know. Maybe I just stayed too close to the city. I, I didn't go deep enough. At night, <laughs> definitely need to go to New York for the bachelor party. Though. That's, Man, that's a good fun. idea. Listen, y'all, y'all can take me to Vegas. I'd love Vegas. Fuck it, uh, Vegas. That's definitely gonna be a little bit more. Alex, you're gonna need to Venmo me some money Vegas. if we're gonna go to Vegas. Right, fuck <laughs> it, do that. Yo, Evan, we get to Vegas. Don't bring any gambling money because I'll take you all gambling, dude. Uh, I yeah, I, I can't. I I know. Uh, I know my limits. I told you, guys and it's not gonna work. Before. Vernon was like, "No, nah, I ain't going to play blackjack," which is fine. He just wasn't feeling good, man. I was out. 
What what time do I stumble home? <laughs> Fucking bro, you got back at like three in the morning, two in the morning, something like that, and I was still up, but I was just chilling. Just and you're like, yo, you should have been down there. I was Dude, just I, playing. I left at like eight p.m. and I yeah, <laughs> like three in the morning. I, I went back up to the room. I was just chilling by myself, dude. Just like yeah, gamble. I, I know just just from playing games, I know just that addictive tendency. I'm that kind of person. It's like, oh, one more time. I gotta get it one more time. Like, Listen, yeah. I, I uh I was winning for a while. I just I lost eventually. Like I was up big for a while. That's how I stayed there so long, you know. Like I was I was winning. They're giving me drinks, people are loving me, and then they were like, uh and then you start yeah, losing and it's lost like all oh, money. I was a loser. No girls were sitting on my lap anymore. I'm just kidding. That never happened. <laughs> I was having a blow dice, and then it was just like like the well, last well, like bar. My daddy you perishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, so what's that? What else is going on, with you guys? Man, I I have a little project I've been working on. Oh yeah, and that's reconstructing my rig for my music, mm. like playing. I want. I'm investing into a new guitar. I've been buying pedals recently. Okay, I've been experimenting with different sounds. That's really like my little hobby that I've been doing. Other than, of course, the videos that we've been working on. That's what I've been kind of tinkering with in the background. Interesting. Yeah, man. I, so hopefully I can record eventually, like come up with some cool ideas. So how how do you I mean, would you need a different mic or is the one you have sufficient or um, I don't know I mean, how that I don't works. Know. I'm not too I think I have to get a different mic to record if I'm using my amp. OK, uh, I usually use this mic actually to record acoustic. It sounds really good. OK, uh, so I bought this mic specifically like I know we were planning on doing the podcast and stuff, but I bought it specifically to record music at the time. Yeah, um, that's why it's like a front facing like it, you, a sound can only really go in from one side. Mm -hmm. I, have, uh, I have a question with um, like recording like anything electro. Is there no like direct plug or do you have to do it through <clears> a mic? Um, uh, that's what I'm trying to, I don't think I can do it through this specific audio interface, but I think you can. Yeah, that would like make that would sense. Yeah. If there's yeah. like an input then you could plug it into your computer and it would just record yeah, it through like an audio recording program. But you can also set up like a specific instrumental mic. It's kind of like a, just like a little skinny straight mic that goes in front of the amp. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. it probably wouldn't pick up anything else but the sound coming from the amp, I would assume. Yeah. That's interesting. I've when never really looked into, like, music recording. I never knew. When yeah. I, I, record, mean, man, I would love to be a – and I'm not a fantastic singer or anything, but I would love to come on and do something, man, <laughs> even if it's singing. I mean, I have a, a couple songs recorded acoustic-wise because that's my project I was working on for a minute. But, like, now I want to start incorporating some other stuff into it as well, try to get, like, real experimental with it. We should Especially do uh, – I can harmonize. We should do it with the squad pod, man. Just highway, man. Just and I mean, I know again, we're not all singers, but that'd be fun in a group. I, everyone sounds good. Yeah, man. Just that's <laughs> cool. We could work. We could work some magic. But I mean, I I even got like a keyboard too that I've had for years. That Ooh. like I I always have like these little spurts where I start playing keyboard for a while and learning piano stuff, and then I fall out of it. It's just like, yeah. yeah. I mean, then I go back to guitar because that's my like main instrument, but. I feel like I the mean, keyboard, piano specifically, like I feel like it's one of those instruments that it's very easy to learn very basic things on it. You know, like your one key or like yeah. one note things once in a while. But like when you start to get into like the chords, the two hands and all that kind of stuff, I feel like it just it, it takes it to a whole other level. I can plug that my keyboard through the interface, too. So I can straight up record or put sounds through the really? computer. I feel like if you could do it through a keyboard, you should be able to do it through a guitar somehow. Yeah, yeah, man. Exactly. Or even I mean, like that's a something I'm gonna have to learn though too. It took me a minute to learn Pro Tools, and I'm still <laughs> like, a, don't know it, all of it. It's it's like how like you are with Adobe and shit. It's like so much to take in. So much, dude. yeah. Man. Like it took me like when I went to start recording last year, it took me like a week just to like learn the process of how to use it, <laughs> how, how, like how to cut things up, how to make it sound okay. By that point, you're probably burned out. With like EQing and doing all that, it takes it took quite a while to learn, especially for me. I know Vern; he had practice because he was doing it for long periods of time. It's but, still, still to this day, there's things on Adobe where I have to look up. I'm just like, I don't know how to do this, you know? Yeah, like, I would be go to YouTube, watch something on 
Pro Tools. And it, and it takes something that would take five minutes any other day, and it makes it a half hour process just yeah. to do this one Dude, thing. It's, I, the other day I was looking stuff up, and, and it's just so funny now how like anything you want to learn, someone has probably made a YouTube video on it. So oh, yeah, like, for sure. What was I looking up? I really wanted to figure out how to do something when I was editing these these new videos or the, the new backgrounds and stuff. I was trying to look something up. And I was telling Brittany, like, you know, why do I, why go to school for this? I can just look it up on YouTube and and learn it. I mean, I I, I don't mean to downplay a degree because that's totally not what I was trying to get at. Hey, but, man, I have you know, master technicians that I know that still use YouTube sometimes yeah, to fix cars. Like, we're we're looking master. to build a fence right now, like just because both of our neighbors have a fence, and we just want to to put vertical fences in. And we called three different companies. That we're pretty much just like, please take our money and build us a small fence. No one has called us back. So Bro, I'm like, fence. you know what? Like, I just looked up a YouTube video and I'm like, I think we can do this. And That's I, like, I will say, I will take your school, money, dude. if you guys <laughs> would like to help me someday, because we're actually I'll help you I'll next help weekend, you. we're actually going to look at getting the supplies for it. R- really? Bro, if the, you're trying to give me money. Let's go. No. <laughs> I got a wedding to pay for. The only downside is that we have to build, and this is at my neighbor's request because our, we share part of our yard. He wants a gate down there that he can fit his car through in case he needs to like drive up along the fence and like haul stuff over into his, so he doesn't have to walk up the hill. So I need to build a big gate as well. Oh, All right. I'm okay. sure there's a YouTube video on it. So I'm sure there is. It's like what they used to say in school is like. Oh, you're not going to have a calculator on you at all times. No, you you're just going to have a supercomputer. Yeah, <laughs> like that and more. You yeah. don't even know. I do. I do. I use my calculator for everything because why? Why would I second guess myself? I mean, yeah. I, I used to do that. I have- now, I, that, this may have been being trained working at a bank. You know, I don't want to be wrong. So I always use the calculator for everything. Too, but like. Yeah. I'd rather not be wrong because I do make mistakes and I'd rather not screw it up. Why would Same. I make – I can pull out my phone and have the correct answer in three seconds. Like I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's crazy. I don't need to know how to do math. I'm with you, man. Supercomputers. Uh, Supercomputers. <laughs> Dude, they uh, are. I, <laughs> I did have something else to, to talk about tonight since this yeah, is kind talk- of like we took a break. We coming mm-hmm. back here. For our second season, if you want to want to say, <laughs> I did have a conversation. What is your guys' favorite like sequels of like games, movies? Like, what is your favorite sequels mm. like of all time type shit? I know we we did. I got a good one. Time, but, like, just off the top of my head, favorite sequels. I think one of the best sequels of all time is Shrek Two. Shrek Two. I think Shrek Two. I know this. I <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. I watched Shrek an entire 2. video on why Shrek Two is a masterpiece, and I'm going to tell you. I, I don't. <laughs> and now you're convinced it's a masterpiece. Hold on, I got. I will convince you this. Look oh, up the man. scene, and you probably know which scene I'm going to be talking about. The ending, one of the ending scenes where they play "I Need a Hero." Yeah. yeah. Watch that scene and be like, "This is a masterpiece. This <laughs> sequel is amazing." <laughs> <laughs> Shrek 2, one of the best sequels of all time. You don't think that's just like no. repeating something and then no. <laughs> what if they, so follow that up. Like, what's your favorite like video game sequel? Oh, video game, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Uh, what? Okay. It's a sequel. <laughs> it is. It, technically, it is. I guess it is. I that was just off the top of my head. I had no time to think about that. So it's okay. I, that's what I wanted. I wanted like a knee jerk, honest reaction. I don't know, man. That that's hard. I mean, I can give you the easy ones. Like I think Aliens is better than Alien. Terminator Two is better than Terminator. Um, mm. I like Evil Dead One better, but Evil Dead Two is arguably Dead the two. the better that's film movies. But I mean, uh, my original thought going into the night was asking like specifically video game wise because movies okay. there's so many. But I mean, video games are can be. But I mean, a lot of people have like a favorite that they can really kind of like think of right away when it comes to video games, especially if you're a gamer. Does it have to be a sequel or can it just be a, like a, like it doesn't a, have to be two. It can be it can like be third. Yeah. Cause I got yeah, third. That's what I'm it could be as long as it's not the three. first. One. Yeah. Mine would be crash bandicoot three. Crash Ooh. bandicoot. 
No. This is a good, this is a good game. Three, yeah. man. Three is my favorite. Wherever you're just we on the motorcycle. Halo three. Uh, yeah. I like Halo two better, but well, but still. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's I was the, near the same game. To be honest, yeah. like Halo three is a different system, but like I, I oh, Halo two was memories. Uh, when you start getting into shooters, man, I can do like Modern Warfare two. I think Modern Warfare the, two is the definitely. Best. Modern yeah. Warfare. I think Black right. Ops 2 is the best Black Ops. Oh, uh, totally agreed. I think those two are the best games in the entire franchise. I, would I mean, probably agree with that. Yeah. Um, Uncharted I think 3 is leader. I think Doom 2 is easy. Uh, Uncharted 2 is my favorite, but Uncharted three. 3 is very good. I like no. Doom 3. Like, Doom. I really like Doom 3. I think like Doom 3 is. And listen, look, can it's we just not? It? It's different from other Doom. It's different. Games. If we're talking about Doom, Doom Three is the least, my least favorite Doom. Because it's not, it's not the most Doom game. It's yeah, like it's a, not very Doom. It's a survival like, horror game instead. Where Doom Assassin's is about Creed Odyssey. Like, oh, Odyssey was a great game. Yeah, I fucking uh, loved Odyssey. My favorite I, Assassin's Creed is probably three. I would probably say three or two. Did you play Odyssey though? Yeah, I played the <laughs> shit out of Odyssey. <laughs> Man, that shit's Odyssey's amazing. So goddamn long. It's very good. It, my that I shit's Odyssey, amazing. I it think was really Odyssey good. and Origins are both great games. The shift they took, where it's like this more RPG and like the fighting combat's different. Not that it's not a good game, but it took me a while to be like, okay, this is a different game now, which is fine. It's fine, but that's like, why for me, Origins fell short. Even yeah. though I like Egyptian culture more than the Greek culture, like that, just a personal thing, you know yeah. what I mean? Origins, I played for a little bit, and I was like, uh, weird. I'm not really feeling it. It's weird. Yeah. Odyssey, I feel like the time I spent playing Origins, by the time I played Odyssey and saw how polished it, it was Origins on crack. Sure. Yeah, you know I just I mean? so like I was like, oh my. My God. only problem, if you could say it is a problem, depending on who you talk to, is that right. Odyssey had too much to it. I completely so agree. It with was that. way too big and like way too much. My problem with it was is like there was only like two or three cities where I really was like, oh, this is Assassin's Creed where you're like running through buildings and like hopping <laughs> yeah. up on shit. Like other than that, you're <laughs> so, like running through a fucking like grass. I'm like, it's oh, a okay. whole different game. It man. is. There's I like just, Mind you, there's a lot of you're like downplaying the amount of climbing that you do do in that fucking sure, game. but it's it's, it's not it's not quite the same. And the combat got the rid same. of the it got rid of the Arkham kind of combat system that I love, which I thought was perfected in the third one where you could like rip people's stuff out of their hands and use it. Like I thought it was great. It still had some counters and stuff, but like sure. it's just it's not the same. It's a completely sure. different game than three, pretty yeah. much. The I have big... three remastered on my PS4 right now, so like I love that game too. Valheim is really good too. Not Valheim, <laughs> uh, Valhalla. Valheim. 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 I mean, hey, yeah. I didn't play it. I won't no. spoil it. Like, I'm just saying, Val Valhalla is like, it's very good, and it seems the perfect length. It's not. It doesn't overstay its welcome at all. Right. Arkham City too, by the way, great, fantastic. Yeah, Arkham City, Arkham great. City. fantastic. Yeah. Evil. That's the yeah, one you got me to play ass. back in the day. You like Great play game. this fucking game. Great game. And I was like, all right. So then I played the first one after that, and then Origins comes out third, right? Uh, yeah. Origin comes out third, and then Night comes out fourth. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was want to say, God, yeah. like, as a sequel. I mean, it's technically a sequel. I, a sequel. I want to say The Witcher Three, but I feel like most people have played that as a their yeah. first Witcher game. So it's, matter. yeah, it's true. It's technically Doesn't a matter. sequel, but. I feel Single. like a lot of Witcher fans have played that one first and then went back to the other ones. So, mm, but it is a sequel. So, how about Civilization Five? <laughs> six, six. Yeah, All I, was, I was gonna say Tony Hawk's Underground, but technically that's like a beginning of kind of a new Underground series. Two. Underground Two was a great game too. We but talked I'm about that in the last I think episode. Underground is a better game. <laughs> yeah, I love Underground One, but I, I can't really. Like go with that because it's kind of the first one. I, I mean, mean Tony Hawk Pro Two is better than one. Underground yeah. Two is just Viva La Bam, right? Viva La Bam. Yeah, it is Viva La Bam. Starring dude. Tony Hawk and Rodney Moore. All it is is fucking jackass. <laughs> it really is jackass the game. We talked about this in the last jackass episode, I think. The and then That's they came out with Jackass the game, and it was terrible. Yeah, just play Pro Skater Two, and you pretty much you're yeah, playing. Man, it. That's that's Jackass the game. <laughs> but like, and I, of course, I have talked about it multiple times. RE4 is one of oh, my favorite games. Yeah. Of all time. Even uh, again, going to pure sequel, RE2 is much better. I mean, the first one's great, but man, RE2 is a great RE2's game. Way better, yeah. yeah. Mario Sunshine. Definitely. Mario Sunshine. 
That's sequel. Yeah, just right in here, like sunshine. That's the sequel. If actually, Golden Silver counts, sunshine. Right. No, counts. no, I'm not. I'm not arguing. And to be honest with you, I agree with you that I think sunshine is better. But I think sunshine's like the black sheep of the of the 3D <laughs> Mario. Yeah, me like, too. Realm. I think but, most people, in general public, I think that's the one they don't like. I could see that's that. My favorite. Uh, so, it's not my favorite. Ooh. Uh, listen, I mean, Alex, my. I agree. already explained this to you. I feel like everybody <laughs> in this group knows. Galaxy would be my favorite if I played it. I never played. I've only played the Odyssey's first two. Great too, I've only man. played six and four. And Odyssey's I, dope. I think it's Odyssey is really dope too. Neither of them. That one. What were you gonna say what? Oh, I was gonna say Snake Eater, Metal Gear <laughs> Three. Mm. <laughs> that's it. That's all yeah, he has to say about that. It's probably my favorite too. I mean, Metal I Gear love, Solid, man. Like, oh my one, god! But just like the technology so caught up. Uh, it was good. So good. Even good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you count Metal Gear Solid as like the technical third game of the Metal Gear series, that's my favorite because I love oh, the yeah, Metal yeah. Gear Solid. But man, we gotta go all night on this shit. Yeah, that I mean, if that's <laughs> like I, since we were coming back, kind of our part two coming back from hmm. the podcast. So Let's I mean, I'm back on that tangent podcast. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Andreas, I'm with you. Vice City Six. Bro, I even love like the uh, PSP yeah. versions of them. Red Dead Redemption <laughs> Two. That just oh, like I think the first one's better. That is. Bro, I think about Red Dead Redemption a lot, and I think about the fact that I own it and I can't play it, and I'm like, oh. Hey. Uh, Vernon, you, you want you my PlayStation? Get... <laughs> I'll I'll get a PlayStation Five and be able to. Play Do you want to borrow shit. my PlayStation right. Four? I'll just swap it out with you. You can have a digital Elite PlayStation. The day for you, not like not just to get a PS5, but like to play Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, oh yeah, I want to play that too. Play that. I can't wait to hear your thoughts because you're gonna I think it's play a- that shit. It's so, so fun. Flip question: What's the sequel that disappointed you in a video game? Where you're just like, nah, fuck this, you know, mm-hmm. like No where- Man's Sky. That's not a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> First it's the first thing I thought about that disappointed me. I'm sorry. Oh, can I just say though, Alex has been telling us to give it another shot, and I did play it for like five minutes. It's not, it's not bad. Doubt. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. <laughs> there's so much more when you boot up the game. You're Are like, oh, there's a lot no going Man's on. Sky? There's different All modes you can play. No, we have to play games we can beat. <laughs> they have survival. They have I'm like a hardcore. An it's. Uh, I'll go while you guys think. Yeah. Um, and this is actually a recently one, and it's not that it's a bad game. I'm not, I'm not saying that. It's just something I've kind of not. It's not as good as the first one. The new, the reboot of Doom, the Doom Eternal. They put like there's like a bunch of first person like um, uh, platforming in it, and it's weird. Like the first one was just like, hey, here's a rock and soundtrack and big guns, go shoot some <laughs> demons. And this one's like, hey, you also got to jump around and kind of grab poles and climb up walls. And I'm like, I don't want to do all this bullshit. Oh, like play just, Mario? Especially in first person. Yeah, like especially in first person. Like I just I just want to shoot demons and, and slice them in half with a chainsaw. Like that, I, that's it. That's, I have a good one then. All right. Destiny 2. Oh, Ooh, there, that yeah. is a good one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a I'm big disappointment. For, for sure. We even tried My it most- again and still got disappointed. <laughs> we'll have to wait for we got disappointed to twice. We even gave it a try when it was free. <laughs> it's still free. It. <laughs> uh, uh, this recent one I could think of. It's in like in the same vein of as Alex's, where it wasn't necessarily a bad game, but it was a little disappointing. Was a uh, the remake of Resident Evil Three? Oh, I heard. Yeah, yeah. It was just way too short. They cut stuff from mm-hmm. the original game out from it, and it's just. It was a good game. It just was way too short and just there wasn't enough content to it. Didn't live up to your expectations, you know? Yeah. Literally the second one, you know? Which well, compared to the second remake, yeah, the second remake, oh my god, dude, that game's amazing. Even I the first, and I know it's not the same engine, but even the first remake, which was highly touted, you know, when they remade the first one and they put, like, the Crimson Skulls in it, that was even a great game. How many times yeah. is this game remade? Well, no, the first, the first one, one was, and the second one was. First oh, one okay. was kind of master, master, master controls to it and shit. But the second, the re- Resident Evil 2 was completely remade, like from the ground up. They made it specifically for consoles. It was amazing, dude. I was thinking about replaying that here. I just thought of another one on the positive one. I never played it, but I know it's a really popular one is the Elder Scrolls series. Oh, um, yeah, they got better and better as they like, went. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I never know, played them, but I, I know they're, like that. I mean... Skyrim's like, been on for freaking three generations now. 
But one, which one's not good? No, no, I said going back to the good ones. Oh, yeah, I, it was just another one that came one. in my head. Sequels that that are good. Which one of Elder Scrolls? Like Elder Wind or something? Oh, Elder Scrolls, like, like the Elder Scrolls series, like they're all sequels. So, what's well, the second yeah. one called? Well, no, I just mean like I mean they're all sequels to each other. No, I'm, that's the bad one. I'm just letting. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Morrowind. Morrowind. I have the third one that. Um, I know Morrowind, a Oblivion, and then mm-hmm. Skyrim. I know one that's like a popular bad Jack game. Fault. That sequel, way. at least, is a uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Hey, there you mm. go. And Even also, I would put three. Mass Effect Two on my one of my favorite sequels. Yeah, Mass Effect Two is my favorite, but Three is one of a big letdown. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> Comparatively, yeah, I had what? This shit comes first. out in a couple of days, and I'm trying to buy it. I would say eighty no, percent no. of Mass Effect Three I liked. It yeah, did great game, just not like comparatively. Yeah, but we yeah. like eighty percent of Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing though well, I would do that. on 360 and that shit had three discs and I was like <laughs> I cannot wait <laughs> three discs on Xbox I was like how 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 long is this game three was, discs jeez on 360 I'm sure like they gonna pack all three of those games on one disc probably yeah <laughs> you know, I saw on uh, Facebook or like some of them one of those random ads there was a Nintendo 3DS cartridge that apparently had 400 games on it. I see that what? shit. Like, what? <laughs> that's crazy. All, that's like those like that like Tiger Electronics shit, dude. No, but it's they were like, like they were DS games. Like, nah, man, you're gonna boot that up and it's gonna be a fucking bunch of NES games, dude. <laughs> not even like officially licensed. It's Can you be believe Mario, like it's be Pario? Those Jump first through. like. Um, like those Game Boy games were just megabytes <laughs> big. Like, Mario. All of those, like I don't even think megabytes. They might have been even bytes. Yeah, man. Like, and to be honest with you, this is just because I just did it for Kai. I told you guys the other night. Like man. I have the emulator for Fire Red. It's, it's megabytes. It like Six point five megabytes. Yeah, <laughs> the entire game. Six point five megabytes. Dude, listen. You know what's crazy to me, and and this is kind of off topic, but just speaking of bytes. So on the Switch, I own. Um, Mario versus Sonic at the Olympics, and it's mm-hmm. like fifty point six gigs. Okay, jeez. Now I now I also own the physical copy because that's digital. I own the physical copy of Breath of the Wild. Uh-huh. You know how many gigs that takes up? Like twenty gigs, baby. Zero, fucking zero. Because <laughs> it's on the cartridge. It's on, it's on the car- and it's like this gigantic game. <laughs> And I'm just like, Jesus, man. Like, like, Mario, they have 200, Sonic, like, 200 gig yeah, SD cards yeah, now dude. that are like the size of my pinky nail. Dude. Like, it's crazy. Oh, by the way, you all own Switches. Has anybody ever put that shit in their mouth? Not the Switch, the game. No. So, like, no. No not. One? Let me explain before <laughs> I sound like a weirdo. So, like, when I'm switching games, I always, I like, I put the other okay, one in my yeah. mouth to, like, okay, hold okay. It, like, switch it. But. It was a thing. They didn't want dogs and shit to swallow it. So there's a bittering agent on the games. What? Like, that ex- like look it up or go lick one of your Nintendo Switch games. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, there is a bittering agent on it. So every time, dude, I'm like... Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't want dogs and kids to swallow it. <laughs> so, e- dude, and it gets me every fucking time. Like, Alex is, like, looking up, like, why do my, de- or why do my Switch games taste so bad? <laughs> Dude, it's awful. <laughs> it's terrible. terrible. I saw an article, I think, yesterday about like Nintendo kinda... cartridges and all that will decompose after so many years. That's like they'll idea. descend, like not like probably in our lifetime, but like after a while. But like That's they just tough. disintegrate. I'm like, not tempted to go seat, lick one, Alex. Like the plastic will just like do it, man. Go lick it. I, I, I have a brand new DS game. I just got that new Pokemon Snap. I feel like. Yeah, I really don't think it'd have a bittering agent on it, dude. I promise you, right now, (laughs) it hundred percent has it. Go lick it on camera. Go get it. Come here. Go get that shit. Go try it. It has a bittering agent. I promise. I was thinking about the same thing because I was like in my head, I'm like, Kyrie did just get Pokemon Snap. It's brand (laughs) new. It's got a bittering agent. (laughs) Kyrie, one of these cartridges tell me how it tastes. (laughs) Taste that cartridge. Put that bitch in your mouth. I'm not gonna like suck on it. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't be BSing a story like this. 
Yeah, all right. I'm telling you. We got, we got, give it a give it a big we old got lick. Got the new in the back. new Pokemon Snap here. Let you guys see. So where's the uh, bittering agent at? I would imagine on the black. I imagine it's not on the sticker. <laughs> I taste it. <laughs> it's a bittering agent. <laughs> It's on the game. I looked it up and it is true. It's, it's still on my tongue. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's been it's like Nintendo came out even said it's for their oh. dogs and shit, right? It's so dogs and shit don't eat it. That is terrible. And, and children. Yeah, dogs and children. Yep. Wow. It's still lingering. It's almost like my tongue got burnt. Yep. They it's put like a, a lesson agent on it. Like no. <laughs> Like Alex has out. not learned this lesson apparently. Yeah. I remember I forget who it was. I think it was my brother, dude. What like it was whenever I was like wow. younger. I remember he would, he was trying to stop biting his nails and he bought this shit that you put on your nails. Mm-hmm. You bite it, it's like super hot. Like it burns yeah. the shit out of your mouth. And like I just remember he used to like get just got used to it. So he put it on and just got used to it. <laughs> And then he's just like likes hot shit, so he it doesn't even matter. It. I think there's the same thing, like, but it's bitter. Spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just like chili powder or something or mace. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when I was a kid, my I found mace on top of like my laundry thin, and my sister convinced me that it was she because it said pepper spray. She's like, it's just pepper. It tastes fine. And I sprayed that shit right in my mouth, just <laughs> and like I was young, young, so I don't super remember it. But my mom was like. She's like, I thought you were gonna die. She's like, I thought your throat was closing. She's like, you were the red, like, like cherry fire truck red, like. And my sister, she said, was losing it the entire time, just fucking <laughs> laughing. She's just like, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die. I mean, if you think about it, if I was, let's say, five, she's only nine, so she's just like, she's funny. <laughs> she's funny, probably. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like, that, like cinnamon challenge, bro. Oh, gross. <laughs> the Nintendo, oh, yeah, the Switch challenge. Your Look your Switch Ugh. games. I and Justin, I remember and we got Justin to do that. Yeah, so we got somebody. Sh- to do I think mean, Shiloh did it. Like actually bro, did. That's it. who it was, dude. Shiloh <laughs> did it, but also Cody did it. I remember Cody would be able to do it, or is Cody the one that exploded with the powder? <laughs> I think all of us. I think we all did, but I think it was hilarious because every time Cody went to talk, another cloud would come. <laughs> but you're right. Shiloh over anybody just was like, She's like, what? What? what it's nothing. Mean? I'm like, what the? What do you mean? I've never the, done the cinnamon thing. Oh, uh, we'll do yeah. it. We'll, that's next podcast. Let's we do it on the podcast. I just so licked a Switch God, game. Someone else is doing the everywhere. freaking Evan, cinnamon. No, 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 I've done it before. I'm not trying to do it. I, I, Evan hasn't done it. Yeah, I've done it before. I'm good. Just Evan's I'm, gonna, I'm done consuming lick, things on the podcast. He's gonna lick the pudding. <laughs> Evan, you don't believe me? You can't. You can't. I, I've seen the videos. I, I have enough proof. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy. So Cody could just no, not Cody. So Shiloh could just eat it, like not Shiloh. Yeah, she could do it. That family's family weird. Was nothing. <laughs> that whole family's got something. Like, <laughs> like water, give me water, <laughs> Sandy, water. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, SpongeBob is so quotable. <laughs> Take any episode of SpongeBob. Alex Peace, he said he's done with oh, that shit. Damn, he really did. He's he done. He was done with that shit. He didn't even say it. He just gave the look. I was done with that shit, and he pooped. didn't even do that. He just click. It's not even twelve o'clock. I, I, he has a timer like, oh, set, and he would just click. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Well, well, I, I guess think that's I, a good place to end it, I guess. <laughs> Alex, leave. This is how Alex is going to call it time. He's just going to leave and then leave us to, to deal with the ending. <laughs> yeah, he also got the ending. Please. <laughs> okay, I'm done. It was a good episode. It was our uh, good uh, return episode and slash wedding episode. Yeah, it was that a great was a episode call. back. Alex told us a, a grand story, as he's always good at, and then just peaced. After and then, <laughs> he's like, my work after, here is done. More conversation at least. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, that um, yeah, I'm I'm glad to be back doing this. I'm glad that we uh, 
man. We finally got things refreshed. Excited for the podcast. Come back. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for all this content we are putting out. Cause I mean, we got squad nights, of course we got now cinema trip, audio trip reviews, squad pod sports every Thursday, man. We got so much damn content. Yeah, look out for it. I'm hoping with the podcast, I'm hoping to kind of shorten some things. I really want to take advantage of YouTube shorts. It's kind of like TikTok, but YouTube's version. So hopefully some of the funny things that we, we talk about or do, um, we can clip some of that up and, you know, I don't know if I want to make a TikTok, but you know, do something hey, like man. that. Fuck it, man. <laughs> Someone else can deal with that. I'm not dealing with TikTok. Let, let Alex deal with TikTok. Alex can deal with the the, the Waves 5 TikTok. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about that. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to go follow on Twitter at Squad Pod Sports and at I think it was Squad Pod YT, right, Evan? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. I might uh I might redo that into just Waves 5. Um <laughs> Just because I, I just, I've never opened Twitter. I never do it. <laughs> I got to get into the habit of it. Um, but I do, I do keep up on the Facebook page though. Uh, only because I'm on Facebook because of you yeah. guys. And that's how I talk so to def- people. Make sure to go like, and subscribe on, on YouTube, most importantly, and then definitely go send us a like on Facebook as well. Cause we definitely check in that all the time. Yeah. That's probably the most active place. Um, if you want to see why it roasting people on Twitter, follow no, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Done. That's past. That's past. He says it, but he can't help I'm himself. He I'm sees someone someone say something stupid, and he's just gotta. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm past it. I turn over a new leaf. Yeah, Zuckerberg's waiting for you to do something exactly. over on Facebook. I, I feel his eyes on me at all times. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, keep um thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh we we are uh excited to keep doing this and hopefully we got a lot be, more coming for you. Yeah, we will be back next week. <laughs> Every week See you, everybody. Forever. Bye. <laughs>